Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the MCQs on general microbiology and this is the 12th part of the series of 500 MCQs on microbiology. So let's start the question answer session for general microbiology with explanation. Okay, so the first question is the following is or are motile cocci that are options are planococcus, rhodococcus, stomatococcus or all of the above and the right answer is option D that is all of the above are motile cocci. Okay, so move on to the next question that is glass syringe are sterilized by boiling for 20 minutes, autoclaving both of the above or none of the above. Right one is option C that is both of the above is used for glass uh, sterilization of glass syringes that is the boiling of boiling for 20 minutes and autoclaving. Move on to the next question that is KK K slash K reaction in TSI agar is given by Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Acinetobacter, Calcoacyticus both of the above or none of the above and the right answer is the option C both of the above okay and here we will see this uh, TSI agar these are, these are the TSI agar slant so TSI means triple sugar iron where three sugar molecules are present that are the sucrose, glucose and lactose so depending on the depending uh, on the <coughs> digestion of these uh, sugars by the microorganisms we can differentiate them okay and uh, also uh, this micro uh, also whether this microorganism produce gas or produce the uh, or utilize the h2s or hydrogen sulfide depending on that we can uh, <coughs> anticipate the microorganism species okay so here kk means k define the alkali alkaline medium so if the bacteria produce alkaline uh, <coughs> ph if raise the alkalinity then we will see a red color and it will be denoted as k and if the uh, yellow color present that represent the acidic color so which is represented by a so here kk means kk means alkaline sl slant this slant is red that is alkaline and also the butt is red so both slant and butt is represented by kk that is both are alkaline so here in this slant so uh, uh, and this one is the control slant okay of tsi agar and this one is the in the uh, <coughs> in the slant that is alkaline and in the butt that is the acidic but there is no gas produced here so here we will see in the slant that is alkaline that is k and the and acid but but is acidic but here h2s positive means uh, that's why it is black color so if h2s is positive h2s is uh, produced then it is called the h2s positive and it gives black color and if the gas produced here then it we will see like this and the slant and but also is yellow color so it is acidic so in this way we can differentiate the microorganisms present in uh, or used by the used uh, in TSI agar okay so move on to the next question that is CSF sample sent to the laboratory from a case of meningitis should be maintained below 4 degrees Celsius at room temperature or as near 37 degree as is possible or at 20 degrees Celsius and the right answer is option C so as near 37 degree Celsius is possible for a case of meningitis okay and CSF means cerebrospinal fluid so move on to the next question that is gram positive organisms have lipopolysaccharide layer peptidoglycan layer lipoprotein layer or all of the above and the right answer is option B peptidoglycan layer is present in gram positive organisms in their cell wall so here this is the cell wall of the bacteria and this was the cytoplasm and this is the plasma membrane or cell membrane and here the bacterial cell wall is present which is made up of peptidoglycan layer so here we can see a thick layer of peptidoglycan is present for gram positive organisms now move on to the next that is gram negative organisms have lipopolysaccharide layer peptidoglycan layer both of the above none of the above and the right answer is option a that is lipopolysaccharide layer so here we can see that this is the plasma membrane and this is the outer membrane and 
after the outer membrane in the outside of the outer membrane a lipopolysaccharide is present which is also known as the endotoxin okay so move on to the next question that is cell wall is composed of n acetyl glucosamine n acetyl muramic acid or both of the above or none of the above and the right answer is option c that is both of the above that means nac and nam it is nac uh, nac and nam that is n acetyl glucosamine n acetyl muramic acid both are required for the composition of peptidoglycan of the cell wall so here we can see that this is the peptidoglycan layers and this one peptidoglycan layer is made up of NAG and NAM. NAG means N acetyl glucosamine and NAM means N acetyl muramic acid. So both alternatively they join to each other and produce a peptidoglycan layer. And in the with the NAM that is N acetyl muramic acid, a side chain of peptide, peptide chain is present in all the <coughs> NAM molecules that means in acetyl muramic acid okay and this uh, peptide chains are attached with each uh, each other by a glycine bridge okay so move on to the next question that is anaerobiosis can be achieved by displacement of oxygen absorption of O2 by chemicals incorporation reduce incorporating reducing agent in media all of the above and the right answer is option D all of the above are achieved by anaerobiosis so move on to the next that is pigment production is enhanced by 1% glycerol monoacetate milk both of the above or none of the above so pigment production is enhanced by option c both of the above that is 1% glycerol monoacetate and milk so nitrates are not reduced to nitrites by estrechia coli arvinia herbicola Salmonella typhi or Vibrio cholerae and the right answer is option B that is Erwinia herbicola is the right answer and here we will see the nitrate reduction and denitrification so nitrate reduction that means the nitrite to nitrate pro uh, nitrite production is done by nitrate reductase and this nitrite ultimately can be go to uh, can be uh, converted into the molecular nitrogen and go to the atmosphere so this process is known as the denitrification and this is the nitrate reduction so all are involved in the nitrogen cycle so this is the nitrogen cycle where the atmospheric nitrogen is incorporated into the plant cell and then after that that will go to the atmosphere again okay so this is the nitrogen cycle where atmospheric nitrogen is incorporated into the uh, <coughs> plant cell by the first by the nitrogen fixing bacteria they fix the nitrogen as ammonia and that ammonia is converted into the nitrite and then by the nitrifying bacteria and then nitrite is converted to is uh, go to the <coughs> cell of the plant root okay and also this nitrite can be converted into atmospheric nitrogen by denitrifying bacteria okay so this is the nitrogen cycle so the next question is nitrate are reduced to nitrogen gas by pseudomonas aeruginosa escherichia coli vibrio cholerae or staphylococcus aureus and the right answer is option a pseudomonas aeruginosa okay and here we can see this nitrite can be converted to atmospheric nitrogen by denitrifying bacteria so move on to the next that is all the following bases are present in DNA except adenine, guanine, cytosine, uracil and the right answer is option D that is uracil is not present in DNA. Here we can see in DNA guanine, cytosine, adenine and thymine is present not uracil. Uracil is only present in RNA. So next question is K slash A reaction in TSI agar that is the triple sugar iron agar with H2S hydrogen sulfide production is given by all except Proteus, Mirabilis, Citrobacter, Diversus or Salmonella paratyphi A or Salmonella paratyphi B and the right answer is option C Salmonella paratyphi A and here we will see the K slash A means K means alkaline slant and A means acidic but so here we will see this one the slant will be seen as like this the slant will be red color for alkaline condition 
and the uh, and the but will be seen as yellow color for acidic but there is no gas production okay actually this is the this one is the right uh, slant for this uh, ka reaction in ts agar with h2s production here the alkaline slant this is the alkaline slant slant red color and acid but but here h2s is produced which produce the black color okay so now move on to the next question that is lac phase is decrease in number of cells increase in number of cells increase in size of cells or number of cells formed in equal is equal to number of cells that die and the right answer is option c so the lac phase where the increase in size of cells so here we can see this one is the lac phase where no increase in number in live number of living bacterial cells okay so next question is lock phase is decrease in number of cells increase in number of cells increase in size of cells number of cells formed is equal to number of cells that die right answer is option b so lock phase is increase in number of cells and here this one is the lock phase where exponential increase in number of living bacterial cells next one is phase of decline is decrease in number of cells increase in number of cells increase in size of cell number of cells formed is equal to number of cells that die and the right answer is option a that is decrease in life number of cells so decline phase this one is the decline phase so exponential decrease in number of living bacterial cell and next one is the stationary phase is decrease in number of cells increase in number of cell increase in size of cell or now number of cells formed is equal to number of cells that die and the right answer is option d so here we can see the stationary phase this one is the stationary phase plateau is number of living bacterial cells and rate of cell division and death roughly equal here okay so next question is bacterial growth curve has three phase four phase five phase or six phase so already discussed about that so the right answer is option b that is four phase so liquid liquid used in heartless broth is streptokinase or sodium polyanethyl anethyl uh, sulfonate or sodium oxalate or sodium citrate and the right answer is option b sodium polyanethyl sulfonate and this sodium polyanethyl sulfonate is a constituent in culture media used to grow bacteria from blood samples from patients suspected of bacteremia okay so move on to the next that is mycobacterium ulcerans is thermophilic or is mesophilic or is psychrophilic or grows at res restricted temperature range of 31 degrees celsius to 34 degrees celsius and the right answer is option d so it grows at restricted temperature range from 31 degrees celsius to 34 degrees celsius and they and this mycobacterium ulcerans is a species of bacteria found in various aquatic environments the bacteria can infect human and some other animals causing persistent open wound called baruli ulcer next question uh, and this is the this is the infection looks like okay so move on to the next that is ludlum's agar is a selective medium for salmonella typhi vibrio cholerae staphylococcus aureus or bordetella pertussis and the right answer is option c uh, staphylococcus aureus next one is the buffered glycerol saline is a transport medium for shigella salmonella bacteroides or neisseria and the right answer is option a that is shigella and move on to the next so here also we have some information to share about so buffered glycerol saline maintain viability of enteric pathogens while transporting stool specimen to the laboratory collect transport and preserve clinical specimen with a transport medium especially suited for salmonella shigella species okay so move on to the next that is gelatin gelatin containing media are sterilized by autoclaving in specification tenderization or none of the above and the right answer is option c that is tenderization process is used to sterilize the gelatin containing media next one and also we have some information to share 
that is john tyndall is a scientist who at first introduced this tyndallization process and tyndallization means is a heating the material at 100 degrees celsius on three successive days with incubation period in between and resistance pores germinate during the incubation period on su subsequent exposure the vegetative cells will be destroyed so instrument used for this tyndallization process is known as steam arnold okay so move on to the next question that is leptospira is comma shaped drumstick in appearance or spiral with hooked end or chinese letter pattern the right answer is option c so leptospira are spiral with hooked ends like this this is a picture of leptospira and the last one is the clostridium titani is comma shaped drumstick in appearance or spiral with hooked ends or chinese letter pattern and the right answer is option b drumstick like appearance so here this is the drumstick like appearance of clostridium titani so these are all the questions question answer for general microbiology okay thank you for watching this video